Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be <clears throat> today I'm gonna be going over the most recent episode of Monday Night Raw from yesterday, July twenty second, twenty twenty four. That was a really good Raw. I don't know why I'm saying this right now. Um, but how we usually do this is wait, no, that's not what I say. Uh, if you if you like WWE, <laughs> if you like WWE and all that stuff, like I do these reviews like twice a week. So I'm, I think next week is gonna be once a week because like it's uh, next week SmackDown is very skippable and I'm gonna skip it so. It's very skippable, and I'm gonna skip it. Whatever, uh, whatever. So yeah, I do these videos at least once to twice a week. So subscribe if you want. But so yeah, um, how we usually do these reviews is that I go over all the matches and segments, rank them, and then give my overall thoughts and rate it at the end of the sh at the end of the video. So yeah, let's start off now. Let's start it off with Gunther and Damian Priest segment once again. Gunther just continuing the roast from last week of Damian Priest, but then. Calls out Damien Priest of the ring. Priest has enough of it, and he just, like, just destroys him. Like, he doesn't even get a word out, and then he just punches the crap out of Gunther. And they keep fighting throughout a whole commercial break, and then they come back from commercial, and they're still fighting on the outside of it. Adam Pearce has them banned from the arena. This feud really got heated fast. Like, it was just so insane. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. That was cool. Damien Priest is literally a face now. Like, damn. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. That was awesome. Next up was Ilya Dragunov versus Braun Breaker for the number one contendership of being the number one contender uh, for the Intercontinental Championship. Winner faced Sami Zayn at SummerSlam. Um, this like this is like they've had two matches already. This is the third one. This is by far the best one from their trilogy. So that's what I think. I thought it would kind of be a DQ at some at some point because so they can set up a triple threat, but sadly it wasn't. So. Braun Breaker is gonna. Braun Breaker got the win, and he's gonna face Sammy at SummerSlam. That was a really fun match. I'm gonna give it a three point five out of five. It was really fun. So yeah. Next up was Lyra Valkyria versus Sonya Deville. This one had a pretty huge botch in it, but at the same time, it was actually like pretty watchable, pretty solid. Not gonna lie. Sonya got another win, which understandable. Like she, they need to build up that women's faction strong. Um. So three out of five there. Um. Pretty good match. Sonya got the win. Next up was CM Punk, Drew McIntyre, and Seth Rollins' segment. That one, I'm already smiling because, like, it was just what a great segment. It started off by, like, uh, McIntyre literally, I think, ap finally apologizing to the refs backstage and, like, uh, unsuspending McIntyre. So, yeah, and then Punk goes to the ring and announces that he's cleared. So, Punk versus McIntyre at SummerSlam. But hold on, Seth Rollins comes out. He is a special guest referee. So, that is awesome. Like, that was, that's just awesome. So, it's finally, wow, everything's falling apart at once. So, it's awesome to hear that clarification for all of that as I'm just trying to pick up my stuff right here. But, yeah, I'm going to give that whole segment a 4.5 out of 5. That was awesome. Next up was uh, Xavier Woods, Otis, and the character Zawa versus the Final Testament. This got really fun at times. It was just, I don't know, like the whole match. This was the one that everyone was saying. It was the bathroom break match. Um, I thought it was still a little bit fun at times, but eh, it was still like very, yeah. I'm, I'm going to give it a 2.7 out of 5. I think the Final Testament actually won. I actually forgot because that's how, like, this, like, that's how un... Um, Uninterested, I wasn't the match. 2.7 out of 5. Next up was Chad Gable's segment with the Alpha Academy. Or I'm just going to say Chad Gable on the wide six because they really, the Alpha Academy didn't do anything. They just got attacked. Like, Chad Gable was just pro proclaiming, like, uh, oh, yeah, if you come back to me, I'll protect you more. But, like, no, that was obviously a lie. So then once Otis rejected him, like, the Creed brothers and Chad Gable just killed the kill Otis. Not, Tazawa's just already dead. They just kill Otis, but then here comes the Wyatt Six. There goes the four. There's uh, Nikki Cross, Dexter Lumis, Eric Rowan, and Joe Gacy on the entrance ramp. Uncle Howdy is in the ring. It looks like he's in his ring gear and gives Chad Gable a solid Sister Abigail. It, like, Gable sold the crap out of that one. Sister Abigail to Gable. That was just so good. I'm going to give that a 4.5 out of 5. That was just amazing, man. Awesome. So next up was uh, Rhea Ripley, Dominic Mysterio, and Liv Morgan segment. Oh, yeah. There, there was supposed to be a match here, but it never ended up happening. Uh, Rhea, Dom, and Liv. Okay, this one was good. So in this backstage segment, Rhea is just uh, with Dom. And, like, Dom says, oh, I'm with Liv and all that. But then, like, Rhea just pulls Dom and drags him all the way to the ring. And then here's Liv on the other side. Like, I think on the other side of the crowd. And then she's like, oh, yeah, like, no, like, Dom's interested in me, not you. Like, all that stuff. She even starts, oh, goodness, I don't want to talk about that. 
And then, like, she's trying to make Dom say I love you, but like, he says I hate you. And that was just the wildest I've ever heard Dom. Like, this was the this was the craziest promo from Dom ever. Like, it was just wild. It was, it was like, this promo was even better than the rant he had on his dad before WrestleMania. Like, this was just more powerful, in my opinion. That was awesome. That was a 5 out of 5. That's my highlight of the night so far, because that was just so interesting. So... Like, damn. <laughs> On stream, like, I was just yelling. I'm like, let's go, Dom. <laughs> five out of five. I, I feel bad for Liv, but, hey, it'll, it'll, it, don't worry, don't worry. It'll happen again at SummerSlam, or something happens at SummerSlam. I don't know. I'm stuttering a lot. That's my bad. Uh, next up was Zelina Vega versus Zoe Stark. This was a fine match. Nothing that special, but Zelina Vega finally got a singles win. Can we talk about it? She's ha She's lost all these matches for 11 months now. Finally got a damn win. Like, she even, like, showed in her, like, emotion, too. Like, she was so happy with her finally getting a win as well. So, I'm glad that Zelina got the win. I still use that hashtag, push Zelina. She's actually noticed it. So, W. <laughs> Zelina Vega, hi. <laughs> I'm going to give that a 2.5 out of 5, but it was cool to finally see her win a freaking match. Yeah. So, the main event was Sami Zayn and Jey Uso versus The Judgment Day. This was the... Mo this was my match of the night. I did not expect this match to be so much fun. JD McDonough already has that built-in talent that he has carried over from NXT that everyone just makes fun of him because he has a big head. <laughs> yeah. Um. So he, so him and Dom like really, or him and Finn really want put on a good job. Like we know, we know capability that capabilities that Jay Sam or not Jay Jay's. Yeah. We know the capabilities that Sammy and Finn and JD have, and Jay has like a lot of the crowd behind him. So this was gonna be a really good match. That's what I thought. And it was, it delivered really well. Uh, Sammy and Jay beat the freaking tag title champions, which full circle moment, uh, January 2023, uh, Raw 30, Sammy and Jay beat the Judgment Day, Dominic and I think Damien. Um, Sammy and Jay, they had the team together because Jamie got injured. And now, like, over a year and a half later, Sammy and Jay beat the World Tag Team Champions, and then now... Sammy might lose the Intercontinental Championship. They might they might get the the tag titles back. Full circle moment. That's pretty sick. Not gonna lie, but back to this match. One, it was really fun. Three point seven out of five. So yeah. So, yeah. If I had to rank these segments, I'm gonna I'm gonna number one obviously goes to Rhea, Dom, and Liv. <laughs> five out of five there. Number two goes to Punk, McIntyre, and Rollins. Number three goes to Chad Gable and the Wyatt Six. Number four goes to Gunther and Damian Priest. So the, all, all four of the promo segments get top four once again because that's how good they always are. Sammy, Jey Uso, and the Judgment Day goes number five, and that was the match of the night. Ilya Dragunov versus Braun Breaker goes number six. Lyra versus Sonya, number seven. Xavier Woods, Otis, and Akira Tozawa in the Final Testament versus the Final Testament goes eighth. And the worst match of the night was Lena Vega versus Zoe Stark. But that, like, the worst match of the night was a 2.5 out of 5. A 2.5 out of 5 is equivalent to a 5 out of 10. And that's the worst match of the night. A 5 out of 10 is still really just fine, in my opinion. So, the fact that that was the worst match of the night tells you, like, all you need to know about this Raw. Like, how great this Raw was. It was not, like, a huge classic, like, the March 25th edition. But, damn, that was just so well done. What a... Like, Raw has been cooking. Ever since June 17th, they have been cooking every single freaking episode. I'm going to give this Raw a 4.5 out of 5, equivalent to a 9 out of 10. Awesome job by everyone involved in this... And that'll do it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.